welcome to Alright What's Next. Today we got to try and hook up some uh, wiring for a horse trailer. Somewhere along the line the harness to the horse trailer went bad. It's somewhere up in the frame. I haven't been able to uh, locate the problem. So I'm just going to run a new harness down the length of it. Got this 25 foot four lead uh, harness from Menards. I'm not going to be able to run all of my clearance lights down the side. It's just going to be a basic uh, uh, stop turn signals. Just stuff to make me legal. Go. Come on. Yep. So the first thing we need to do is test to make sure we have lights. Nope. I had to get this adapter. This adapter will plug into my main truck harness, the bumper, but it's got this adapter here that'll allow me to run the four lead harness. It also can do a, a six lead one. This is the one that we needed for lead. So that would just plug in your main truck harness. Now this one's actually wired with the four lead on the side here, but the wiring got ripped out of it years ago. So we'll just use this adapter into this harness where I know I have power. But to double check power, normally you'd use a test light or an ohm meter. My uh, ohm meter is at work. The test light, uh, my good test light is at work. The one that I have here is shit and it doesn't work. So I just grabbed an old clearance light off the trailer, cut the leads back, and we'll use that as a test light to make sure we have power here. So let's turn on the flashers so in an automotive application. Your white wire is your ground wire. Black wire is going to be the positive power wire. Down here, the exposed terminal, that's going to be your, uh, your ground. You touch your ground wire there, put it up in here. Okay, that one's working, that one's working. It's gotta be left and right circuit. So let's make sure individual circuits work, and then we can figure out which one of these wires is going to be left and right. Now it should be yellow will be left, green right, brown will be your clearance marker lights, and the uh, yellow and green also function as your uh, brake lights. I don't really like this situation because it's setting it up to ground it to the truck, which isn't going to work well. We'll have to figure out a ground for this because I'd like to run it back and ground it to the lights. It looks like it's going to plug in here. Green will be the top, yellow will be the bottom. So let's figure out which of these is right and left. All right, left turn signal's on. Ground, not that one. There we go. That's our left turn signal. Get the second one down, plug it in, second one down, yellow. Yellow is our left. Now it's a matter. We know we got power to our turn signals right here. So now we gotta go ahead and run the harness down the length of the horse trailer. I think the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to attach a longer lead onto this ground so I can run it down and tie it into the individual lights because we're grounded through here, not onto the trailer. Plug it in, it'll stay in place. Then we'll run it down the length of the trailer. See about getting all these twists out of it. All right, now we're going to take some electrical tape and we're going to just loosely bundle this so it'll stay together better. It'll be a neater project that way. Start up here at the front, just give it a little quick wrap. It'll come down every eight inches or so.
right, now we're gonna disconnect the harness, get it out of the way, and we're gonna put this thing up onto a ramp, tilt the trailer up on one side, so it's either slide underneath here and uh, connect the harness. job of running a wiring harness. Uh, I don't have the time to do it right and pull out all the old wiring and run it through all the, the existing channels. I need the lights to work and I need them to work now. I have to use this trailer. So now we've got it to the back. Up in here there's channels that will run up to the tail lights. So we got to run each individual wires up into there. Since we got it at the back now we got to split the harness into its two individual pieces. There's gonna be the green and brown and yellow and brown, plus the white for ground. So we need to take the tape back off, split it in half. Okay, I'm gonna take the green and brown, it's gonna go that way. Yellow and brown is gonna go straight up. We need to take the splitter ground wire so we can run one that way. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull this tail light out. We're gonna find some uh, heavy mechanics wire that we can run down in through here, through the hole in the bottom of the frame, so we can tape to the wiring harness and use that to pull the harness back up into here. down to the bottom. So now what you do is you take your uh, yellow brown and white wire. We're going to wrap it and tape it around the wire down there, shove it up in the hole, and we can use this wire to gently pull it back up out of the top. gotta run it across the bottom up into the other freaking tail line. And then we can tie it together. Ground wire connections aren't that important. You don't really have a problem with them corroding. These are going to be power circuits. So I got some, uh, well, they used to be blue. These things are ancient. Uh, heat shrink butt connectors. You crimp them, take a torch, wave a torch over them, and they, uh, they shrink down and they seal the connection. 
there's like a silicone sealant built into it that'll ooze out and seal around it make a nice connection when you do it you got to make sure you got a set of crimpers that are made for insulated connectors if you just use one of these connectors like this you'll break the insulation and then your seal is worthless and it's just going to corrode so we'll use these insulated butt connectors fortunately i don't know if i'm going to have enough to do the whole project i think i only got about three left but these are going to be trapped inside the frame so we'll definitely use them on these first connections okay so here's the two connections with the heat shrink butt connectors. Propane torch. You can use a Bic lighter. Uh, this is just quicker. good and melted uh, you won't be able to see it because I can't do close-ups with this camera it's a cheap piece of crap but uh, when you melt it it'll get this little like goo ring around there that's the silicone stuff that melts comes out makes a nice good sealed connection so now you can try take this over and we'll run it up through the hole and wire in the taillight all right there we go Harnesses ran to both taillights. Now I gotta do, tie the lights into the harness, and then go up underneath and secure it to the frame. I have a limited number of connections and I'm extremely ashamed of myself for doing this, but I used a wire nut to connect these together and I'm going to wrap it in electrical tape. Um, this is a complete bullshit way of doing it. I see it all the time. Um, I do this professionally. So, using this, I should be freaking kicked in the nuts for doing it, but I'm going to do it to try and get by for the time being. Because like I said, I need this trailer right now. And that is generally the reason why anybody does it. it what, it's what they have on hand, and it gets the trailer going so they get down the road. There, another reason not to use a wire nut is uh, your lights don't fit for shit. Alright, we got Blinky 
Let's go ahead and uh, test the stop, make sure it's working. All right, we got stop. Let me test right turn, make sure that circuit's working. All right. Now the only thing I got left to do is go underneath there with uh, some harness staples and staple up to the wood floor wherever I can. Zip tie it, try and keep it uh, off any sharp metal that might be underneath of there. And I've got a working harness again and I can use this trailer. Granted, it's not the best way to do it. Goddamn wire nuts, that's probably the stupidest fucking thing. But it'll work for now until I can actually get the stuff to fix properly. And then I can take and go haul some stuff today. I'm not going to bother showing you how to uh, tie the harness up underneath of it. It's not a big deal. Just if you know how to use a staple, staple up to the wood floor, zip tie it wherever you can find a place to zip tie it. And that's it. Harness is in. I can go use the trailer. Uh, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to click subscribe, hit like, turn on notifications. Bye.